In today's story, I'll be telling you about someone protecting the marine environment in his island nation. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 subjects, each from different countries, with each subject involved in their country in a positive environmental action. And today it's a turn of country number 38, Comoros. The subject for my portrait for Comoros is Hosoini Hosseini, a natural resources conservationist and marine scientist with a strong specialisation in marine protected areas. Comoros is an archipelago in southeastern Africa, located at the northern end of a channel in the Indian Ocean between two countries beginning with M. The Comoros is formed by Ngazija, Mawali and Ndzwani, three major islands in the Comoros archipelago. The islands are officially known by their Comorian names, though international sources still use their French names of Grand Comore, Mocheli and Anjouan. Comoros includes all of the volcanic Comoro islands, with the exception of Mayotte. Mayotte voted against independence from France in a referendum in 1974 and continues to be administered by France as an overseas département. Environmental problems in Comoros include deforestation, soil erosion and water shortage, along with extreme weather exacerbated by climate change. Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs, are defined geographical areas of the marine environment established and managed to achieve long-term nature conservation and sustainable use. They often limit fishing to the artisanal techniques of local communities and may have specific times of year and no take zones where there is no fishing at all. My subject for the painting for Comoros has been working on the Comorion Protected Areas Programme for the last 12 years. Hosoini Hosseini has a broad range of skills and talents, such as natural resources management, marine ecology, sustainable development, negotiations and conflict resolution that allow him to be at the heart of the success of Comoros's first MPA on Macheli Island and to now be introducing five more protected areas on the islands. Hosseini described to me how he had grown up on the coast and how living on an island the beach was his playground. He had an uncle who was an environmentalist and nature advocate who encouraged him to follow his interest in protecting nature. Husseini went to university firstly in Comoros to study for a bachelor's degree in earth science and environment, then to Iran for an engineering degree in conservation and protection of natural resources before completing his Master's in Development Studies and Environmental Management through the Senghor University. Hosseini has developed a broad range of skills along the way and has published widely, including a national report on the impact of climate change on biodiversity and another report reviewing the impact of MPAs within the Indian Ocean. He has published a book on negotiation and conflict resolution for natural resources management in Moheli Marine Park. His current role is as project manager for the project Strengthening Oceans Protection in Comoros, known as RPOC. The project is funded by an American philanthropic organisation, Ocean 5, and implemented by Wild Trust South Africa and supports the four marine protected area sites and associated stakeholders on Grand Comore, Moheli and Anjouan. The work requires a wide range of interventions that include monitoring, participatory enforcement, habitat restoration, local community engagement, education and raising awareness. Practices such as fine mesh net trawling or dynamite fishing are prohibited. Husseini believes community engagement is key to the success of these projects. Everyone needs to contribute. There is a real need to engage volunteers as there is still very little funding to support the project. 
The coastal villages are heavily impacted by marine pollution and on a small island, Hassani points out that it is easy for everything from the land to eventually end up in the sea. Engagement is helped by showing communities that even protecting a small area can produce a rapid change with fishery stocks improving. The project has taken time. Originally funding was virtually non-existent, but nonetheless thrived thanks to the tireless work of Hosseini and his colleagues. The project attracted funding through a five-year Global Environment Facility project implemented by the United Nations Development Programme. With wildlife such as the green sea turtle now doing well on the island rather than being killed for food, the islands are also attracting visits from tourists and researchers, bringing more money to the islands. If you'd like to find out more about Hosseini and the marine protected areas in Comoros, I have put some links in the description below. Final words from Hosseini are, coming from the islands and being confronted by the changes of the natural environment, my concern is to leave to the future generations a healthy and protected environment. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting someone involved in wildlife conservation in the Republic of Congo.